Hello friends, so here we are with another question on KVL and KCL application to circuits involving dependent sources. So here we have this circuit, okay, and we have been asked to find this voltage across these two open circuited terminals. And uh, again here we have a dependent source which is as actually a current dependent voltage source and it is dependent on this current flowing through 6 ohm resistor okay so we will uh, try to solve it okay so here let us first redraw the circuit okay so okay let's draw it here 10 ampere okay this is 4 ohm this is minus plus 2 i1 this is 6 ohm this is the current i1 this is 3 ohm this we have to calculate okay so here the important thing again is to highlight this dependent source this is a current dependent voltage source this current is the important parameter so now we can simplify this circuit if you see the arrangement of this independent current source 10 ampere and this 4 ohm if you remember we discussed something like a source transformation that is we can convert a current source into a voltage source okay we can convert a current source to a voltage source so here we can convert this part as this this one okay this one will be 10 ampere into 4 ohm that is 40 volt this one will be the 4 ohm that is the 4 ohm that is connected in parallel across the current source gets connected in series and this current and resistance that gets multiplied that we have the voltage source rest is all the same this is the current dependent voltage source this is 6 ohm this is 3 ohm this is I1 this is V. So we have simplified the circuit just by application of source transformation to this part. This part. So now if we apply KVL here, okay, if we apply KVL here, you will see that in this portion, in this portion no current flows 0 ampere because it is open circuited so it means the same i1 current it flows through this closed loop because 0 ampere is current is flowing through this 3 ohm it is open circuited so the same i1 is getting circulated in the loop so the kvl equation will be 40 polarity again assignment is very important polarity yes plus minus 40 minus 4i1 plus 2i1 minus 6i1 is equal to 0. That implies 40 minus this will be minus 10 plus 2 minus 8i1 is equal to 0. That implies i1 is equal to 40 by 8 that is equal to 5 ampere. i1 is equal to 5 ampere. Now if you see the voltage across this open circuit terminal that is equal to 6 I1 only. Why? Because 0 ampere current is flowing through 3 ohm, no voltage drop across this resistance. 
So the only voltage drop appearing is through this 6 ohm resistance and that is the voltage across this open circuit terminal. 0 ampere for flowing to 3 ohms, so 0 voltage drop here. Only voltage drop is across the 6 ohm. So the voltage across these two terminals is 6 I1, V is equal to 6 I1 which is equal to 6 into 5 that is equal to 30 volt. Okay? V is equal to the open circuit voltage is equal to 30 volt. Okay? Again here, a very basic question but here basic understanding of Kirchhoff's laws here KVL we applied but here if you would have used KCL it would have been little bit complicated then the concept of super node would have come into play because in between these two nodes there is a voltage source no matter it is dependent but it is a dependent voltage source so unnecessarily a lot of equations would have come into play Yes, we could have solved it by that way, um, there is no problem in that, but unnecessarily it would have become lengthy. So here you should have some basic common sense about electrical circuits, where you can apply which theorem, which concept to simplify the circuit. Our goal is to simplify the circuit, to find the best possible solution. So here what we did, we realized that if we use KVL, only one equation, see only one equation and we got the result. If you would have used KCL then one equation for this super node, one equation for this node, one equation for this node, three equations. Okay, So we simply converted this current source into voltage source by applying source transformation, one KVL equation and we got the result. Okay. Hello friends, so here we are with another question on Kirchhoff's law application to circuits involving dependent sources. So here we have the circuit and uh, this is the dependent source here which is a current dependent current source. This is the current the parameter on which it is dependent. We have to find this current capital I. So let us redraw the circuit first. This is 4 ohm Ix, 10 volt, 5 ohm Okay, this is 5 ohm, this is to i x and this is i okay so here this is the current dependent current source this is the parameter on which it is dependent so here uh, this current i x that is equal to 10 volt by 4 ohm okay because the voltage across this 4 ohm resistor is 10 volt okay it is connected across this so here this current will be equal to 2.5 ampere 2.5 ampere okay that is very important ix is equal to 2.5 ampere then here 2ix current is flowing here let's say the current direction is like this this current okay like this so here this current value will be equal to i minus 2ix so only then these two currents will get added up and the net result will be i here i minus 2x plus 2ix is equal to i current flowing towards the node get added up polarity is like this plus minus here also the polarity is like this but that is not required here so this is the polarity now 
we will apply KVL in this closed loop. Very simple KVL equation. It will be 10 minus 5 into i minus 2ix is equal to 0. That implies 10 minus 5 into i minus 2ix. ix is equal to 2.5. 2ix is equal to 2 into 2.5 that is equal to 5. Minus 5 is equal to 0. That implies 10 minus 5i plus 25 is equal to 0. That implies 5i is equal to 35. That implies i is equal to 35 by 5 that is equal to 7 ampere. I is equal to 7 ampere. Okay. So here it is 7 ampere, it is flowing. 2ix that is equal to 5 ampere, and this will be 7 minus 5 that is equal to 2 ampere. Okay, this. Okay, this is the result. So again, very basic understanding of Kirchhoff's laws, KVL and KCL, and Rest is just mathematical calculations.